Film Club Episode 5, Steven Seagal Edition. I'm here with uh, extraordinaire Harry Foster. Hello. And uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, not just one Steven Seagal movie, but uh, three. And uh, we're not going to be watching the whole things because that would be just torture. Uh, instead we're just going to be looking at uh, some of the best of, you know, the, the best moments. Without further ado, let's uh, look at the first movie. So the poster already, it's just Steven Seagal's head on top of another body. It's He's just watching the same your six. <laughs> I don't want Steven Seagal watching my six. So uh, basically Steven Seagal and a bunch of retired wrestlers, they, uh, <clears throat> they're in the army. And the whole movie is basically Steven Seagal just sitting down because he would refuse to get out of his chair. It's, it's really just, it's pathetic. Like, he clearly doesn't give a shit about what he's doing at all. Can't move my legs. Just wait it out. So, I mean, well, the story of the movie is just, uh, the special ops and, you know, they defeat these terrorists, but then they get stuck in enemy territory and they gotta wait for their crew to come in. Yeah. And, uh, Steven Seagal's meant to be like this awesome, like, you know, he's the best of the best. In all of these movies, he's like, He's meant to be the guy who, like, when you need to get a job done, you call him. But he just sits in a chair. And then all the women, they always, in these movies, want to they flock to him. They flock to him. Yeah. They want to bang him. Sergeant Chandler. Yes, ma'am. Are you really as good as they all say you are? Every once in a while. But it's like he's a fat, gross, lazy, dis lazy disgusting, disgusting man. He's greasy. Yeah, so Steven Seagal mumbles the whole movie. Don't mention it, brother. He gives half a shit in this one, because he, he's actually... He can at least understand what he's saying sometimes. He speaks like he would in an interview. What are your relations with Hollywood today? I mean, you know, I don't live in Hollywood now. I just... Uh, Where do you live? I live, you know, in Arizona and, you know, all over the place, so... I mean, I still have a relationship with Hollywood, I just don't live there. You know. So, the next movie is called uh, Mercenary Absolution. First of all, uh, terrible title. They clearly just stole, like, Hitman Absolution. The movie starts with uh, just stock footage, and it's not very good stock footage either. You know, we go into the office building, and here's how you introduce your main character. He just sort of lazily flops into the room. <laughs> so yeah, they bring him, bring in Steven Seagal because he's the best of the best. So there's no like color grading to the movie. It's all like very uh, saturated. It looks like one of my movies. <laughs> this one he gives such little of a shit. Like he doesn't care at all. Listen to this dialogue here. And. Uh... If it turns out that he's really a bad guy and he's really an enemy of the United States of America or he's really funding terrorist activity or any of those things, I'll make him disappear. It's fucking terrible. He's falling asleep. It may be his worst movie, possibly. So he brings in uh, this uh, younger dude to basically do all the martial arts for him. He does this a lot. And he's, he's the best of the best and he's getting someone else to do his work for him. Yeah, and you can tell this guy's sort of, he's trying. And it makes, it's such a contrast between him and Steven Seagal because he's at least trying, but Steven Seagal is like falling asleep. And he can't remember any of his lines. Lay low, we're ghosts, always ghosts. Out here right away. Okay, who would genuinely watch this? He doesn't do anything. He's not like an action star. This whole movie is just a big fucking blur because it's just Steven Seagal sitting down in like almost every scene. I was supposed to come here to take care of babies for rich families. Three years. Three fucking years! It's just fucking lazy. It's, it's, it's just better movies you could be, you know, spending your time watching. Yeah. Rather than this garbage. I believe that everybody out there is out there to fuck me. Alright, well, the next one is, uh, 
my personal favourite. It's called A Good Man because Steven Seagal, he's a, he's a good man, yeah. He's once again he's sort of special ops and he has to take down like the terrorists. And at the start of the movie, he actually does walk around and he actually kills someone with a sword. And it looks like shit because it's CGI blood. And it's like a very bad choreograph. So he goes into retirement <clears throat> and he goes to this apartment building where uh, the uh, the love interest who's half his age uh, and her sister are trying to get into the room and they can't get in. So he walks over and goes, hey, you need help? My name's Lena. Chu. And she's my sister, Mia. What's happening? So the mafia... They owe another mafia as they go, all right, we've got this girl who's like a slave for us because her father owed us money. What if we give her to you? And they go, yeah, right. The mafia, they go to get this woman and her sister as well, I think. But then they ended up just taking the little, the little girl, the sister. And then they, they bring her along and they go, all right, here's the sister. And they go like, all right, well, I guess I guess we could take her. So uh, Steve Sakal, the good man, he has to go and rescue her, and he has to like break in and do his karate moves. But first, he uh, he has to go and get someone else to do all the work for him. So they go and rescue the girl, and then the, I'm not joking. This is the very last scene in the movie. It pans up, and all of a sudden, she takes her clothes off and fucks him. Yeah. He's fully clothed, she just gets on top of him and he just lazily rubs his hands on her back. He's so fucking lazy that he he can't even take his leather jacket off. What, what does the, his partner get? Like, Nothing. He's a good man. Yeah. Anyway guys, that was Film Club. How long has Steven Seagal been staying there for? Why isn't he saying anything? Are you okay? Motherfucker.